Hello, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this will be for the week of July 1st through the 7th, 2024. So let's dive into it. We're going to pull nine cards, three rows of three from the mystical manga tarot. First card out is the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have Temperance in reverse. And we have Six of Cups upright. Okay, so right away, we see high levels of emotion this week. We see almost like a feeling of not being in control of emotions. It's highly, highly emotional. So whatever is happening uh, has a deep emotional intensity to it, and that's okay. I want to get more information on this. The Ace of Swords, whenever it comes out in that reverse position, it tends to represent some sort of blockage, some sort of false start. Like you thought your life was going in a certain direction. You thought communication meant something, but now it's being blocked. So um, communication may be blocked. You may be in separation with certain people. Uh, the, the way forward may be cloudy because things aren't very clear. There is a sense of confusion and that emotional confusion leads to this emotional intensity. I would say be cautious of anyone who puts you into a state of emotional confusion because usually whenever there's that feeling of being confused emotionally, manipulation is, is usually also present, okay? And then the Six of Cups actually shows your friendships and business, if you have your own business, is looking phenomenal this week. Lots of sales if you're a business person. Uh, friendships are just through the roof, like amazing. I feel like a lot of you are meeting up or uh, even just talking on the phone with old friends that you haven't spoken to in a while. And it just heals your heart. It heals your soul. And it uh, really is like the sunshine that brings you out of that sort of darkness, that sort of not knowing where things are going, emotional confusion. Um, so yeah, it's it, very beautiful. Wow. And then the sun. Oh, okay. So this is just like a temporary blip in happiness is what I'm seeing. Like a feeling of emotional confusion, a feeling of like not knowing where things are going for like two seconds. And then you go right back to your old sunny demeanor and all the answers that you were um, searching for are, are here again. It's, it's looking good. Yeah, it's very radiant. I love this energy for you. What's the center of your spread? The sun really does shine on all areas of your life as well. Like I said, finances and business are looking really, really good. If you are a business owner or have some sort of like job in sales, I am seeing a lot of that. Um, but also getting out. Some of you may be traveling. I am seeing like being outdoors in nature. And as I said that, it just started being really, really windy out. There's a storm coming and uh, the wind is starting to pick up. Uh, which is significant. I always take into account everything in my reality when I do these uh, readings and wind means change. So there could be sweeping changes uh, in your life this week, despite the fact that, you know, certain things that you wanted to unfold may be stagnant right now. And center of your spread, as I say that, is the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. I have a bad feeling that a lot of Leos at this time maybe in a sort of toxic um, connection where you're like convinced that someone's like your twin flame or your soulmate, but they constantly leave you in this state of emotional confusion. Number one sign, uh, if this applies to you, if you're in separation with someone and they're on your mind as I'm doing this reading, or if you're getting mixed signals from someone, okay, you're feeling unappreciated, unloved, uh, or you're just like not feeling seen by them. But then at times they make it seem like, oh, I'm here. Here's all my love, blah, blah, blah. Here's the sunshine. I would be very, very cautious with people like that. If you're starting to get into that pattern of like being upset with someone, feeling like there's distance, feeling like their communication with you is cold. And then suddenly they're talking to you again and it like clears everything up and you're great. And then you find yourself like just waiting and waiting, waiting for their texts and in that cycle of hot and cold, you don't understand how toxic it is until you break out of it. I'm telling you, like you break out of that cycle. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Okay. Don't, don't even, just don't even, you know, that's what I would highly recommend to the Leos watching ace of cups in reverse with this ace of swords. Yeah. Someone is not giving commitment here. Someone is not showing their emotions here. Someone is not giving you their heart. They're not giving you direction forward. So what is the point of keeping them in your life, Leo? 
what is the point? Literally, they're just playing this hot and cold game, but they're not actually opening up to you emotionally, being vulnerable with you. They're not giving you any clear label. They're not giving you any clear direction forward. Like this is when these come out in reverse, this is what they look like upright. This is literally blockages in the heart, blockages in direction, which is causing this emotional intensity with temperance in reverse. Temperance also, if we look at this card, it shows an angel here pouring two cups into each other, two uh, sources of water into each other, which represents uh, handling a relationship with a lot of finesse and spirit bringing two people together. It sort of represents uh, those early days of romance where things are a little uncertain and um, you're, you're getting used to each other, you're learning each other's boundaries. But when it comes out in reverse, that fusion process is not happening in a healthy and beneficial way. So if this resonates with you, definitely consider mm, kind of mm, leaving this person behind. Uh, it feels like a new person, like someone you, you just start dating within the past few weeks or months. You know, if it's years, it'll probably be under three years. Um, but yeah, if this really rings a bell with someone that, like a cycle that you're in with someone, just highly consider walking away is what I would say there because you have a lot of amazing friends, you have business, you have a lot of blessings already in your life, you know, and uh, those blessings will support you. They'll become a bigger part of your life after you walk away from this. And I know that you saw a future here that you had your heart set on something, but oh man, if it doesn't have its heart set on you and if it's not being clear with you, that's a problem. We have the eight of pentacles coming out in reverse. Mm. yeah, this is sort of that energy of like, I've put so much time and energy into something or into someone, and I've repeated the same cycle so many times, I'm getting frustrated with it. So if this is talking about relationships, it's like you repl you replayed the same cycle with someone over and over and over again, you're getting frustrated with it. Like you have the same argument all the time, and it keeps repeating because either someone's being defensive, some sort of like communication skill is not present, so arguments never get resolved and they keep repeating time and time again that's just a really toxic cycle to be in and i'm seeing you getting really really sick of this cycle sick of the cycle of hot and cold just wanting to be loved just wanting to be seen consistently and spirit is saying like leo there is absolutely no reason for you to be putting yourself through this for you to still be talking to the person and in the cycle that keeps replaying here. And if this cycle is sourced from within, if you're the cause of the cycle, there is absolutely no reason to keep hurting yourself when you're longing for and desiring more consistency in your life, more love, more blessings, more success. Very fascinating. This sun card is really beautiful because it's shining a light on, on this pattern for you. You're becoming consciously aware of it so that way it can be healed, released, and let go of. And also, it just shows great love. It shows happiness. Like just really genuinely fun memories that you'll be making this week. Going out with friends, uh, business, finances coming through, being in nature, seeing all of these things. Yeah, you, you take good care of yourself, but so you take good care of yourself so you don't need to be in these relationships or situations that don't bring you peace. We have the Page of Wands. This is showing what's to come when you release, when you let go of the toxic cycles. We see new passionate love and passion towards life. Okay, what I'm seeing here is when you release this person or this cycle that's draining you, that's playing hot and cold, you'll have more time and energy to focus on passion, okay? So this is you starting a big new project that you're excited about and you make more progress than ever because you're not like up all day worrying about like when will I hear back from them, you know? Or this could even be showing little glimpses of new passionate romance that will come to you in your future, Either way, like, you'll have much more time and energy to focus on the things that you love, the things that you want to grow, and your passions. When you're not staying in these environments where you're around people who don't see your full worth, 
who keep their hearts blocked off to you, who don't offer you directions or labels or commitment or anything like that. And you already got great people around you. You already like are doing well for yourself. Like there's really no reason for you to stay stuck here. Yeah, we have the hermit in reverse. A lot of you are afraid of being single if this is someone that you're letting go of or you're afraid that you'll be lonely if you let go of this friend or this person you're dating uh, who, who ain't it, you know? You're afraid that, oh, but I won't find that level of like chemistry that I have with them, with someone else. And that's just not true. It's not true. You can either stay and work on it, but that's not going to work if the other person literally has their heart closed off to you. They don't want to put a label on your relationship. They don't want to work on it. They've proven time and time again, when you have an argument, they just get defensive. They don't actually work through the argument. The, the foundation of working through it is not there, Leo. So spirit is saying that like, if that foundation is not there, there is literally no point for you to stay because you staying and trying to work on it is not going to fix anything if the other person is not working on it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you could say to that person to change their mind because one of the core foundations for a healthy relationship is not present. And spirit is wanting you, is it illuminating this to you? Making you consciously aware of this so that way you'll have the strength to walk away and focus on that which actually does bring you a lot of passion and romance and love and uh, whatever it is that you're seeking, okay? Apply this reading to wherever it resonates in your life. It, it won't apply to your romantic life for all of you. It might apply to your uh, your business or like a partnership or like a friendship. or It could apply somewhere, but we do finish off with the hermit coming out in reverse, which shows your resistance to being independent, to being on your own. And spirit is looking to change that because you already have a strong foundation within yourself. You already have a great support system and you already have passion and drive and, and personality. So it'll be good for you and you'll find peace very soon after walking away. So thank you guys for joining me. Let me know how this resonated down below. Comment uh, how this resonated. Like this video, subscribe if you've not already, and definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead because there's a lot more to your week ahead than just this. Subscribe, or if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.